Oh, oh wait. <gasps> wait, I see a trigger. There's like a trigger maybe. I don't know. <gasps> he got it. What's up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we're at a very cool place. We're at this giant lake. It's about 30 minutes from where I live, and this lake is literally the most crystal clear lake I have ever seen. I mean, check this out. Look, you can see a gar down there. There's a bass under him. Look at that gar, dude. But yeah, this water is like crystal freaking clear. Like, this is stuff you would see in Miami and stuff, but this is nowhere near that. This is very unusual to see like where I am right now. You don't see water this clear usually. And it's such a cool spot. I mean, look how big this lake is. And it gets really deep out there. We've made videos here before like just fishing, but we've never done a fish trap. And I don't know why, because I feel like this spot would be a really cool place to do one. Cause you can actually like see all the fish down there. There's usually a lot of fish under whatever that is over there. You could just see like a bunch of little tiny fish. You could see everything in the water. So I thought, We'd come here and do a fish trap. We brought a fish trap with us today. Here it is right here. We got ourselves a fish trap. This fish trap is like my favorite one. And uh, we got a bucket. We got some bread to chum with. And uh, yeah, guys, we got Brandon with us today. His channel will be linked in the description below. He's also gonna do a fish trap. And I guess we're gonna like see who, who wins, who catches more fish. I wish we brought a rod. We were seeing a lot of bass. I didn't think we would see any like bass. I mean, usually we do, but yeah, I wish we would have brought a rod. There's our fish trap. Oh, forgot to zip it up. Wait, hold on. We gotta put some bread in here. Bread is like the best fish trap uh, bait. So we're just gonna get like two little pieces here. And uh, boom, boom, boom. Look at that, that is perfect. Zip it up so the uh, fish can't escape. Basically they go in through these holes and since the mesh is so loose right here, they can't find their way back out. So it's a really good fish trap. But yeah guys, let's throw it. Brandon, where do you think we should throw the fish trap? Um. I'm thinking somewhere out here, maybe. Yeah, maybe right in front of this pipe. That's funny. Or, oh, come here. By the rocks. Yeah, over here, there's usually a lot of little fish. Right Oh, here. look at them all. Oh, yeah, look. Dude, look at that one. <gasps> what is that? Dude, there's some cool fish down there. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Ooh. Okay, where do you think I should throw it? Like, right... Look at all of them. Bro, there's so many. It's these rocks. Oh, my God, look. Look down there. It keeps on going. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many fish. Guys, I think we're gonna put the fish trap right here. This is a perfect spot. There's a lot of rocks, a lot of little tiny fish. Some really cool ones from what I can tell so far. I see a lot of ones with stripes. I don't know what they are, but hopefully this fish trap can catch them and we can find out what they are. Throw it right there. And they're usually like stacked under whatever that is, that pump or something. I can see a lot of fish down there. Once they smell that bread, it is over. They're gonna find their way in and boom. All right, Brandon, let's give this fish trap about an hour. What do you say, an hour? Yep, let's go try to catch a bass, maybe? Yeah, maybe, we, we do have rods, we just didn't bring them here. We might head back to the car, grab some rods, and try to catch these bass. I don't know, the bass in here are very finicky because it's so clear, the water. They can see your line, they can see your hooks, so it's very hard to catch these fish. We might not try, but we'll see. We'll give it an hour. Hopefully, we have something cool in our fish trap. But yeah, guys, we'll see you then. Huh? No way. Wait, should I record this? Yeah. I'll throw the bread. Oh. No, it's a stick. No. Look, look at how it's like. Uh, no oh, wait. <gasps> wait, I see a trigger. Oh my God. Yo, okay. Dude, Brandon just pointed out this. A gun, maybe. I don't know. A rifle? Dude, I don't know anything about guns. It looks like a gun, though. I can see a trigger. Hold on, wait. Let me let me put on the polarized sunglasses for you guys and you might be able to see it. Okay, you can see it without the, the glasses. And it kind of looks like there is there's like a trigger maybe. I don't know. Should I should we try to get it? Oh that, we're never gonna snag it with that. No, we have like a tiny hook on. I brought the rod because we're gonna try and catch some of these bass, but I don't know. Dude, this bass is actually eating the bread. <laughs> okay, seriously though, like I don't know anything about guns. I've found a gun before and I made a video, it was a while ago, but I think it was a BB gun. You guys said it was a BB gun. I thought it was a real gun, but you guys said it was just like a BB gun. So I don't know if this is the same thing. I don't know if it's gonna be like a fake gun or a real gun. I don't know if we should be like Scared. concerned or what, but here. We shall see. Should I try and snag it first? Okay, hold on. I think I can snag it. Oh, no. Dude, I don't want to jump in here. There's freaking alligators. I really don't want to jump in here, dude. Here, grab the keys. Got my glasses. It looks like I'm going in for this. I think it's a gun. I don't know. It, it looks like it's like, it looks like it's standing upright, doesn't it? Yeah. 
which is really weird. Like, it looks like the barrel's, like, in the ground. I can't tell, though. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's, like, standing up, though. It's kind of weird. The last one that I found, the fake one, kind of looks like it. I don't know why people would throw a fake gun in the water, though. Who knows? They could have killed all these iguanas around here. They could have killed the iguanas. We were here kayaking, and some dude said there's like a 10-footer in here. Well, he's 10-footer that way. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, here's the deal. Here's the deal, okay? You're going to go down there, and you're going to like this video. <laughs> and I'm going to do it. <laughs> I can't do it. He got it. Show it. I got oh. it! Oh my god! Oh, I dropped it! Oh, I'm sinking! Dude! It, it is a gun! Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, point it right at me! That was so scary! <laughs> oh yeah! I jumped in, my eyes were like closed, right? And I'm like feeling around for it, and I, I felt it. What is it? I just heard something, it, it clicked. It's a fake one, right? Yeah. Daisy. I don't know anything about guns, but I think Daisy is like a a fake one, right, Brandon? Yeah. No. It looks like it was just gone in there because like it's like a, little a little bit of rusted, rust. but not really. That's crazy, dude. Well, I found two fake guns now in my lifetime. Should I be holding this? I don't know. There's like houses. Show the houses, bro. There's like houses everywhere. Should I hold this? I got a gun. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna drop it down there. I'm pretty sure it's like Daisy is a fake one. I think we're just gonna like hold on to it, bring it back and keep it as like a little souvenir maybe, I don't know. Like if you know any extra information about what that is, let us know. Yo, Brandon, that actually felt really good because it's so hot. Like it was scary going in, but. Yo, there's a cool looking fish right here. I hope we got some of them. I'm just gonna grab the rope. Well, he definitely got fish, bro. I can see him swimming in there. Oh! Oh, shoot! This one's trying to get out. Oh my god! Oh, hold on. Oh! Yo! They almost escaped. Ow! Hold on, I need to throw this up to you. Ready? Go. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This video. Now I have to go back down. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got water. <laughs> Wait, give me the handle. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ow. It's a big otter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What is that? Ooh, here we go. Look. Ah. Look at that. Yo! Look! That's the thing that I just saw. Wait, you got... There's more? I already put one in. Oh, there's one right here. That's what I saw down there, I think, because they were, like, striped, and they were the same shape. Wow. Look how cool that is. I've never seen that before. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> they're shaped like Paku, but they have like stripes, so they're cool looking. I think we're gonna bring them back, probably put them in the koi pond because you know the deal. The, koi pond. the random stuff that we catch, we just throw in the koi pond. We have the gun, which we're gonna bring back. There it is, Daisy. It says right there, Daisy. I'm pretty sure that means shaking. very successful day. I jumped in the water a bunch, and uh, now I'm soaking wet. So, you guys, we'll see you back at my house. All right, guys, it is the next day. We ended up putting those fish, well, one of them, into my koi pond. I gave the other two to my friend. He wanted them. I'm not sure what kind of fish they are. If you guys have any idea, let me know in the comments. I'm here at the chameleon cage. The chameleons are doing great. Let me know if you guys want to see, like, an update on the chameleons. Also, I just picked a name for our new peacock bass. You guys commented some names in the last video. And I think we're going to go with Baby Jaws. Just because, like, the peacock is not that big, but he's super, super aggressive. So, I I think baby jaws fits them perfectly oh look speaking of baby jaws there he is it looks like he's trying to eat some of the fish but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you didn't hit the like button subscribe down below i will see you guys in the next one peace out